What's up and welcome back, it's your tech edit here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can fix an iPhone stock in recovery mode the simplest way possible without losing your data. It is quite annoying to get stuck on the screen, so let's get going. First, we are going to be needing to download a powerful tool called Unique Tool You Mend It. Unique Tool You Mend It reached out to me to have their product reviewed and tested. Upon checking their website, I find it really helpful and easy to use, hence that's the tool that we are going to use today. Don't worry as it is free and also a paid software so you can use it for free but if you want or need to use the more advanced features out of it you have to pay to have the software license luckily for this video we're going to need to use the free features of the software so let's now download the software now that we are on our computer simply go ahead and open up your web browser and go to uniquetool.com forward slash ios dash system dash recovery you should be able to see this landing page of unique tool if you have a windows pc simply click on the download now button However, if you are using or you have a Mac, just simply click on this option right here and then you'll be able to see the Mac version. Since I already installed this one, I'm just going to minimize this window and then go ahead and search on my start menu, you mend it, and open up the unique tool you mend it. It will load up the related services on your computer and it will show you this window. If you already have your iTunes installed on your computer, you won't be shown with this kind of window. However, if you have your iTunes damaged on your computer or they are not installed, you might be shown with this kind of window. To fix this, simply click on the fix iTunes and just simply click on the repair. We want to ensure that the iTunes driver is properly installed on our computers to ensure that the software would work as expected. Once the repair is complete, you will be shown with this kind of window that says iTunes has been repaired successfully. We can now go ahead and click on restart to restart the program to have the services loaded up once again. And if your iTunes is already working properly, you won't be prompted anymore with that kind of window. The interface itself is very neat and straightforward but before we do anything with the software, we need to plug our iPhone device onto our computer first. What I would suggest is that you use the original Apple accessory such as the original cable included on your iPhone or tablet to ensure that the process works correctly. Once connected, it should take a few seconds and your device should be detected on your computer. You might be shown with this kind of window that uh, to work normally, unique tool you meant it will prevent iTunes from opening. Just simply hit the OK button. We can now go ahead and click on the enter or exit recovery mode which again you can see here it's totally free. Since we already connected our device, simply just click on the next button and you will be taken to this particular window where you could click on the exit button which will exit your phone from the recovery mode. So as you can see, I already have my phone um, recovered right here. I'm just going to unlock my phone and there you go. Hopefully the camera would focus on this um, particular. Yeah, you can see all my apps uh, loaded up. It didn't get um, reformatted in any way. So I don't get to lose any of my data, including the photos on my phone. However, if in any case that you happen to be experiencing other issues aside from the stock and recovery issue or even after trying the free exit recovery mode feature and yet you still fail, what I can suggest is to use the standard repair which usually fixes common issues with being stuck in the Apple logo or hello screen or even the recovery mode even after trying to exit using the recovery mode feature. Again, the standard recovery and advanced recovery would require you to purchase a license and the price of this app is quite pretty reasonable. Especially you could grab it for one month for only a cost of $29.85 which will already include a one license for one computer and will also repair and support one device. Or you could get the lifetime license which will again be a license for one computer however it will support up to five devices. This is very useful especially if you own several Apple devices or gadgets as this could be more of a long term tool for you. The standard recovery would conduct common tweaks and repair checks while still retaining your data. As you can see that it will ask you to prepare for device repair and it will check your device's model and the firmware version and then just simply click the next button. It will go ahead and re-download the iOS firmware and install it on your iPhone. 
So that's about it. It is really great to see user-friendly tools out there being widely available to users, especially to those who can't do much techy tinkering stuff on their gadgets and devices. I also love that the enter or exit recovery mode feature is entirely free and again, very easy to use. Hopefully you're now able to get your iPhone or Apple device fixed and unstuck from the recovery mode. Feel free to leave your comments and feedbacks in the comment section down below. Also, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button to get more helpful tech stuff in the future. It's your tech edit here. See you in my next videos.